Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install a window insulation kit. What's going on? Welcome to today's video. My name is Colton and today I will be demonstrating how to install a window insulation kit. Now the reason that I bought a window insulation kit is because when I would sit by the window there still felt like that there was quite a bit of cold air coming in. There wasn't a draft but it was just a lot of cold coming from the window and one way to take an additional step to winterize your home is getting a window insulation kit. You'll see a lot of these window insulation kits primarily used more in like the New England colder states or also older homes. A lot of the newer homes the windows actually do a pretty good job but in case you need that added level to block out the cold during winter months keep watching now all the products and tools that I use will be down below in the description so be sure to check those out and the total time that it took me to do one window was probably about five minutes so let's get started drew back my curtains opened up the blinds cleaned up the windowsill and all around the window where the double-sided tape is going to be and let that dry next measure the width and the height of your window grab your tape from the kit and a pro tip with double-sided tape if you actually bend the corner and then bend that back the lip of the double-sided tape will be easier to grab and have tweezers or pliers on hand in case it gets a little tricky use those previous measures measurements for your window, cut to length double-sided tape, apply on the actual window, cut it, and peel back the film. Do this to all four sides of the window. Now here's a trick to get a straight line when cutting the plastic. If the box that you bought says like 40 inches by 200 inches, you know that that 200 inches is pretty long. So if a dimension of your window fits within the smaller number and you really just need to cut the length of your window put down the plastic roll it out but don't undo everything measure out how long your window is that you need and then cut it here i would leave at least a one to two inch margin for all around your window now open up the folded plastic grab one of the edges with that one inch margin and put it on your window make sure there's a nice seal and the plastic is in contact with a double-sided tape all around the window i like to cut off the excess before i use a hair dryer or a heat gun sometimes it may be better to do the opposite heat gun it and then take off the excess now this is kind of hard to see in this video because it's clear plastic, but once the plastic's up, it should be pretty loose and you can see some lines here. Once you get a hairdryer, make sure it's hot or a heat gun. The hairdryer will take a little bit longer and I stayed probably about three to four inches away from the plastic and I tightened up all around the double-sided tape and then almost like you're painting the window, just go from left to right up and down. You'll start to see that the looseness and the lines in this plastic will tighten right up and what's left is a nice tight, almost like a secondary window. If you are using a heat gun, this goes a lot faster because they get hotter and the chance of you burning through the plastic is much higher. So be careful. And now you're done. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you liked what you just watched, go ahead and hit this button to subscribe so you don't miss out on future project and how-to videos that I have coming up. And be sure to click this link so you go check out previous how-to videos that I've completed in the past. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.